Welcome back to PN Recapped Mystery. Today I will show you an action, drama, horror film from 2014, titled The Giver. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Set soon, following an extraordinary conflict called The Ruin, a community in North America has lived in peacefulness without the presence of feelings or shading, as these would create clashes. The residents have likewise had their memories cleaned. We follow young teenager Jonas as he rides his bicycle with his two dearest companions Asher and Fiona. It is the day before their ceremony in which they will be allocated their positions in the community, something that makes Jonas rather apprehensive. The three companions go to the nurturing center where the babies are. Jonas' father is working there. They observe a crying child, whom father says is named Gabriel. They shouldn't have a clue about the child's name however father says he murmurs the child's name to him to alleviate him. Fiona, having a characteristic ability with kids, can quiet the child. Jonas has dinner at home with his dad, mother and younger sister Lily. They examine their new affections for the afternoon, however Jonas must be exact with his language as specific sentiments like dread or love are illegal. He inquires as to whether they were apprehensive before they were allocated to their present positions, for dread that there didn't be anything left for them. Father guarantees Jonas that the elders have been watching him intently since he was a child, so they know where to put him. The following day is the ceremony, got going with a presentation from the chief elder. She shows up as a visualization since she can't be there face to face. However she can repeat the occasions that prompted the community, just as relegate the children to their positions. During the ceremony, Jonas sees an elderly person investigating at him. Asher is given the occupation of a robot pilot. Jonas is skipped while different children are announced, and Fiona is selected to be in the nurturing center. The chief elder then, at that point, gets to Jonas, expressing that he has each of the four credits insight, respectability, boldness and a capacity to look past that persuaded the elders to choose Jonas as the new receiver of memories. Everyone begins reciting Jonas' name. The following day, Jonas starts his private training with the elderly person, who is known as the giver, as he is the person who gives memories to the receiver. Jonas shows up at his home on the edge of the community neglecting a huge horizon. Jonas goes into the house and down to a library region where the giver presents himself and enlightens Jonas concerning his training. The giver holds every one of the memories that preceded even the elders can recall before the ruin. He snatches both of Jonas' wrists, sending him into a memory of blanketed woods, and of Jonas riding a sled down a slope. He can see himself looking and feeling excited, and afterward he comes to a lodge. Gabe is brought to Jonas' home by a nurse from the nurturing center actually crying. They are allocated to look after him right now until he makes up for lost time. Lily reveres the child and needs him to rest in her room. Jonas checks out the child and senses an association where he accepts that Gabe will one day be chosen as he was. During the following training meeting with the giver, Jonas is given a memory of riding on a boat. The inclination to him is strong enough for him to begin to see tones around himself and the giver. He discloses to Jonas that the shadings, alongside the feelings, would permit everybody to feel clashing feelings that would create issues. He inquires as to whether he concurs that equality is important, and keeping in mind that Jonas concurs, he trusts what he's simply seen is likewise extremely wonderful. Jonas gets together with Fiona and Asher. Asher discusses how he's had the option to fly the robots near elsewhere, which he portrays as for the most part ranches and shakes, with two rocks contacting at the top shaping a triangle. Jonas offers to show them what he's been realizing by having them snatch plate and slide down a slant. They have a great time and giggle, and when Jonas heads toward help Fiona up, a voice lets them know they can't contact individuals outside their family. Meanwhile, the giver meets with the chief elder over his preparation with Jonas. She cautions him to not recurrent the error with the last receiver who is suggested to have committed suicide. Jonas' next meeting with the giver makes them play music on the piano and offering a memory of involved with individuals moving and living it up. Jonas additionally sees himself and Fiona racing to a tree and enthusiastically kissing. The chief elder contacts Jonas at home to get some information about the preparation he's gotten. Jonas has been told over and again that he isn't to examine his preparation. So he tells the chief elder that he simply stays there and doesn't talk, 
and afterward gets back home. In the following meeting, Jonas sees horrendous memories of an elephant being killed, just as himself in the place of an officer whose accomplice is gunned down. The pictures overpower Jonas. He later discovers that the past receiver, a teen young lady named Rosemary, was likewise distressed by the pictures she saw. Jonas sees a memory of the giver playing the piano close by Rosemary while she sings. Jonas additionally sees a projection of his dead and a nurse in the nurturing center with two children. The nurse takes one child while father is left with one child that is considered excessively feeble. He injects something into the child's head, killing it and afterward placing it in a case that is sent into a heater. Jonas is stunned to go over this disclosure of what they know as delivering into elsewhere. At the point when Jonas next sees Fiona, he proposes to her that she quit taking her morning injections which numb the feelings in everybody. He later takes her to the triangle, where they and Asher delighted in going to. There, Jonas kisses Fiona interestingly. Jonas returns home and learns from father that he is set to release Gabe the following day. Around evening time, he slips away after checking time to track down Gabe. Asher tracks down him and faces him, just to get hit upside the head by Jonas. Jonas comes to the nurturing center with Fiona there to assist him with getting Gabe. They make a redirection that permits Jonas to get out with Gabe without getting found out. Jonas bounces on a bike to get away, yet not before Fiona kisses him one final time. The elders keep their watch on Jonas, yet they lose him once he makes it outside the community. The chief elder sends Asher out on a drone to find Jonas and Gabe, and orders Asher to lose him. Asher observes Jonas stumbling into the desert, flying the robot over his companion to pull him up with a bar. Jonas asks his companion to listen to him and perceive what the elders are doing, and for Asher to trust Jonas. Asher consents and liberates Jonas and Gabe by dropping them in a waterway. The elders watch video film of Fiona communicating with Jonas, assisting him and Gabe with getting away, just as them kissing. These pictures confuse the elders. She is in this manner denounced for aiding Jonas. Fiona is acquired to the chamber where father is prepared to deliver her and to elsewhere. The giver, chief elder, and every other person sit in participation. The giver raises Rosemary, who turns out to be his little girl. He says he cherished her, and he couldn't care less to hear that word. Mere minutes before father is prepared to inject Fiona. Jonas rides a sled past the boundaries of elsewhere with Gabe. This triggers a response wherein every one of the memories and the shading return to the community. Everyone starts to feel once more, with Fiona and mother both crying tears. In the last scene, Jonas, close frozen and as yet conveying Gabe, walks through the harshly cool, snowy woods to find a cabin. A similar one seen from the giver's memories. He thinks he hears individuals inside singing. However it could simply be a reverberation. Whatever occurs, Jonas recognizes that the giver brought him and Gabe there. Jonas and the newborn child Gabe enter the cabin, leaving the result up in the air. 